Hello and welcome to the FAQ for Force Sabres UK and the Xenopixel soundboard. So before I go any further, I just want to say thank you so much for purchasing a lightsaber from me. I really appreciate it um, and I hope you're going to have lots of fun with your lightsaber. Now if you are here, it's because you've got your Xenopixel lightsaber and you might be either wanting to add your own sound profile or sound font or you may want to make some adjustments to the settings on your lightsaber so possibly the gesture controls or maybe some other aspects on there and that's what this video is going to go over today so the first thing you need to do is access your SD card uh, this can be done by removing the base of your lightsaber gently pulling out the chassis and then you'll have access to the SD card uh, just take that out of the cradle and then once you have that all you need to do is plug it into your PC and once you plugged it into your PC it will then pop up as uh, which I'll do now ah so there we go so I've now plugged my SD card into my computer and this is what's popped up now let's just uh, go over a few things on here because it could be a little overwhelming uh, all these things here and all these here are just sound profiles uh, so if you use a broken ignition, that's why you'll, that sound profile has been assigned to that operation. Um, you won't really need to change these. You can change them if you would like, uh, but it's entirely up to you. Um, personally, for me, I would just leave them as they are. Uh, but this is here the file that we need the most. This is what controls and, the, and is the brains of all the, uh, all the things that go on in your in your lightsaber so we're just going to double click that to open it and now you have the config notepad so there's lots of things on here it can be quite overwhelming and a little bit daunting when you look at it for the first time um, I wouldn't use all this section here um, I don't ever touch it's not something I think would ever need to be touched what you want to be looking at is these sections here so these are the ones that are most important so You've got a side blade delay time. Uh, this isn't something that you need to worry about. And with the lightsabers I have, I don't actually have a side blade, so that'll never come into play. Uh, and we'll go into the more in-depth aspects now. So this section here, this is the volume out of your speaker. So this is how loud your speaker will be when it's running the sounds from the light lightsaber. Uh, it is set to 5000, which is what I have found it to be the best setting from a number uh, of feedbacks and from my own testing. Um, you can go to one th uh, for so you can go to maximum of um, one uh, 16,384. The default is 8,192. So if you want this to be what it was for you, what it, by the manufacturer, you would delete this number. You would delete the 5000 and you would enter 8192 here and that'll make it louder. I would recommend that you keep it at 5000. The speakers are a 3 watt bass speaker and you will stress the speaker more by increasing that volume uh, and it could lead to degradation in the quality of sound. Um, if you're happy with the maximum volume, you will just leave that alone at 5000. If you want the uh, low volume on your lightsaber to be uh, quieter or lower, the default for this is 1,900. That is what the manufacturer has set it as, uh, but it is actually set at 8,000, so it's a little bit louder, but I feel that works really, really well. So that's the volume high and the volume low on your board. Now, you do have a sensitivity for clash, uh, which is set at 1.5. Uh, I've not seen and I've not really got any need to change this. It seems to be the perfect setting uh, for the sensitivity for your clash on your on your lightsaber. If you want it to be more sensitive, you can increase this number. If you want it to be less sensitive, you can decrease this number from 1.5. But it is entirely up to you. Uh, you also have the uh, the pulling and stabbing slash stabbing pulling motion on and off. Now, when you get your lightsaber, it has got the gesture control, so you can thrust your lightsaber forward, and the blade and the lightsaber will turn on when you do that. 
if you want that function to be turned off, so thrusting your lightsaber forward will not turn on your lightsaber, you would change that number from 1 to 0, as it says here. So you would change that to 0, and that would turn off that option. However, if you're happy with the thrusting of the lightsaber to turn on uh, and op turn on from the motion, you would leave that at 1. But if you would rather the counter where you pull the lightsaber back to turn it off as a gesture if you're not keen or you don't want that you can change this to zero that will then disable that function so you would have one for the thrusting control on <clears throat> and you'd have zero to turn off the retracting motion on the lightsaber so one of the functions of the lightsaber is that you can actually uh, twist the lightsaber to turn it on and you can twist the lightsaber to turn it off. Now uh, this is a section here for that function. Uh, from my own personal experience uh, the twisting on I find is fine and I have no issue with twisting the lightsaber to turn it on at all uh, and that is why th that section is set as number one. If you do want to turn that off, you can change that to a zero, which will disable that function. Uh, the second half of that uh, twist function is that you can twist the lightsaber and it will actually deactivate it for you. Now, from my own personal experience uh, testing the lightsabers and from quite a lot of feedback from customers, uh, this is something quite a few people are not super happy with. Um, so you can actually find that function here and if you change that to zero, it will actually turn that function off. Now, for me personally, I would change that to zero. I would turn, uh, I would um, turn that off as a function because it just doesn't really work that great. It seems to kick in when you're not really wanting it to as well. So I would change that to zero, but it's entirely up to you. The second part of this section is the fact that um, you can actually uh, jump from sound profile to sound profile by tilting the lightsaber upside down at a 45 degree angle and if you give it a flick or a twist in uh, t uh, one direction uh, it will go from one sound profile to the next sound profile and this is something quite a lot of people do like um, for that to happen you need this setting to be 150 uh, when it's 150 it will be sensitive enough to do that if you reduce the sensitivity uh, to 100, uh, that you can do so, it would mean that uh, you'll have to be much more forceful with the twisting gesture controls um, on the to turn on and to turn off. The minimum setting you can do is 60 here, so you can change that to 60 as the lowest number possible. Uh, just so you're aware, anything below 60 won't work. Uh, but the standard setting is 150. If you want it to be super sensitive, you could change that to 200, uh, but it's entirely up to yourself. I personally would leave it at 150, and I would just turn off uh, the uh, deactivation option because that seems to work a lot better. Uh, you do have a swing power uh, on and off again this is one of those things that seem to kick in quite a lot of the time um, which is great uh, it, you do swing and it will turn on and it is set to one if you want to disable this you, again you would change that to uh, zero and that will uh, then turn this function off uh, there is uh, no off function or no deactivation function with this swing power which is great uh, you do have the ability to adjust the sensitivity of this swing or a bigger swing um, for more strength. So effectively what this is, uh, it's set at 1000. If you would like it to be uh, a lot easier to swing your lightsaber and turn it on, you would reduce this number and you may want to reduce it down to around 800. Um, if you want it to be almost in, uh, uh, instant with very little effort to turn on, you could reduce it to 500, but just keep in mind, it will just be basically turning on when it gets any kind of feel or motion in a, a swing kind of format. Um, but again, you can increase this if you wish to a higher number to make it harder 
and you need to put a lot more effort into that swing to turn it on so you could go to maybe 1500 but again it's one of those things that only you know what you want it to be like so it, you will need to play around with this number but the starting number is 1000 so that is all the functions of uh, and over the, all the programmable functions of your uh, lightsaber and uh, what you can do for the gesture controls uh, so if you're wanting to add your own sound profile now this is where um, you'll see this is just the uh, one file on your lightsaber and I'm going to bring up the default information that comes up on the SD card now for you okay so let me just go back and here we are so here we have the the format the file that we have just been in so the one this file here is the set file so that file there set is the one that you use to access all these things and the config file so I'll just go back so as you can see there's 34 34 sound profiles on your soundboard and all you need to do is go into one of the sound profiles and then all you would do is select is select all and then delete so you click yes delete that and then from the other sound profile that you most probably have here or the file you would drag and drop your new profile or new sound font in here it'll transfer across and then you have all your new sound profiles and you can either if you wish you can delete all of these if you want and then just have one or two you could have just one you're going to have your own sound fonts for every single one of these folders uh, just keep in mind you will have to name each one of these numerically as you go down um, if you really really wanted to you could just delete the whole pro uh, sound you could just delete the whole folder and then when you import the new one just rename it to number one you could do it that way if you want um, it's entirely up to yourself but it's as easy as that all you have to do is drag and drop your new pro uh, sound font in here and that's it it'll then work for you uh, typically I would make number one your sound profile uh, so that when you activate the lightsaber it's the first one that you get straight away um, but the other thing I need to mention is every single one of the Xenopixel boards that has been sent out or that is installed on the sabers are on version 1.5 okay so because they're on version 1.5 if you want to update and use these functions you will need to uh, update your um, your SD card from version 1.5 all the way to the uh, the latest version um, at the time of recording this video I think it's version 2 maybe 2.5 I'm not sure um, but to to do that uh, um, you can go online and find late more up-to-date versions of the um, the Xeno pixel board sadly I do not have uh, access to the latest versions and I have no way to provide downloads for the SD card to bring it up to the latest version so it will be something you'll have to source online uh, I believe if you go to Padawan Outpost uh, they do have the latest versions on there for you but I hope this video has helped uh, this is every single thing you can do with your Xenopixel soundboard there's nothing else I can advise or tell you on here. This is the full extent of my knowledge. Uh, if there is something else you're wanting to do or find out, the best thing I can advise is to go onto Google and, and actually just Google the uh, the to try and get the answer to what you're looking for. Unfortunately, there's nothing else I can I can tell you. So I hope this has helped. Uh, and uh, I, again, thank you so much for purchasing your lightsaber from me. Uh, it does mean a hell of a lot as it's just me that makes everything and uh, I hope you have so much fun with your new saber and may the force be with you.